Well, turning now to a Fox 5 exclusive this morning in Silver Spring, a family is grieving a and a homicide investigation is underway after an 18 year old was shot and killed at a local park. A tragedy unfolded late last night and this morning his family is speaking only with Fox 5. Ben Lee Alvick is live with the latest as police search for his killer. Good morning, Mel. Good morning, and this is a story that's going to hit every parent hard. The shooting happened behind me here at the Seek Lane neighborhood park in the playground area. The victim, 18 years old, his mother telling us this morning that she's grief stricken. Life is broken now. I'm painfully, nobody have an idea what is the pain from my heart now. Miriam Mortiz had planned a surprise for her son Christian's 19th birthday tomorrow. Police knocked on her door at 3 a.m. to say her son was dead and she has to go to the medical examiner's office in Baltimore to identify him. It was 9.45 p.m. last night when calls came in from people who heard loud gunshots, one reporting hearing up to 20 shots and seeing shell casings in the roadway. The first officers arriving in the park found the 18-year-old in severe distress, suffering from a gunshot wound to the upper body. They started CPR while fire and EMS made their way to the playground area, but Christian died on the scene. His mother tells us she tried for years to get him help through the county for drugs, which she says are a big problem in this community. And I'm working for the community, and I'm working and I'm speaking for the gangs and I'm speaking for the, uh, the fentanyl, the problem with the drug. And for me, this morning is a surprise because I know I work in so many. I go in, you know, have an idea. I go to Annapolis. I go to so many people and the, uh, political people for help. So she's a mom who was working really hard to try to turn things around, not only for her kid, but for the community as well. But she said that once kids turn 18, in her experience, it's very, very difficult for parents to get help for them. Now, at this point, it's too early for investigators to say uh, what the motive is here, whether uh, any kind of drug activity was involved in this. This is still a very early and active investigation. We do know that witnesses reported seeing at least two people running from the park, but at this at this point, Montgomery County Police have not been able to put out any active suspect descriptions for the community. We'll send it back to you, Stephen. All right, Mel, uh, you can certainly hear the pain mm -hmm. in that mother's voice, and uh, we are wishing them uh, just well at this point. Thanks, Mel. We appreciate it.